This video is sponsored by ISA 100 Wireless Compliance Institute. Have you ever wondered what it takes to develop and test wireless instruments and devices for the most demanding industrial applications? The ISA 100 Wireless Compliance Institute helps instrument and device manufacturers significantly reduce the time, cost, and effort required to develop and bring ISA 100 wireless products to market. Wireless instruments are now ubiquitous and fill many needs in industrial applications. There is a broad and rapidly expanding ecosystem of ISA 100 wireless products now on the market. Some of these are wireless infrastructure products that form the backbone of modern ISA 100 wireless networks. These infrastructure devices include independent and integrated gateways, access points, and protocol adapters. ISA 100 wireless instrumentation and devices have been developed for most measurement and control needs, including pressure, temperature, flow, level, valve positioners, and digital and analog I.O. interfaces. In addition, many wireless sensors have been developed to support health, safety, and equipment lifecycle applications, such as corrosion, vibration, gas detection, pH, and steam trap monitoring. These sensors have proven to be highly reliable and have provided valuable data to the operating plant, resulting in short payback periods and considerable returns on investment. Traditionally, process automation vendors have been conservative and somewhat reluctant to adopt new technologies, such as ISA 100 wireless. However, with the rapidly growing portfolio of wireless devices and instruments now available and over a decade of service history, the benefits of offering wirelessly connected field instruments are very apparent. The benefits of offering a wireless connected field instrument are swift return on investment. Wireless instruments have significantly reduced installation costs as compared to wired devices. Touch-free maintenance is now possible. ISA 100 wireless devices are able to be provisioned over the air, and configuration and upgrades do not require physical access to the instrument. The ISA 100 Wireless Compliance Institute, or WCI, testing and certification program ensure that compliant devices can be installed in any of the growing numbers of ISA 100 wireless networks across the globe, with guaranteed interoperability. Developing and certifying an ISA 100 wireless instrument is a straightforward process that will allow vendors to join the growing number of providers of certified ISA 100 wireless devices in all categories of products listed earlier. The first step in the development and certification of an ISA 100 wireless product is to formulate the product requirements and create a field device architecture. At this step, Details such as estimating product battery life and identifying other project requirements and costs are documented. New products typically are introduced to fill a perceived need in the industry, and meticulous product definition, architecture development, and project planning can set the stage for successful product development. The next step is to develop a functional prototype. The internal anatomy and architecture of a typical ISA 100 wireless field instrument consists of three elements. First, a wireless communication module that includes a WCI certified communication module. Second, an application-specific sensor capable of measuring the variable of interest for the instrument. And third, an application processor that collects readings from the sensor and forwards the data wirelessly via the communication module. The benefits of using a pre-certified ISA 100 wireless communication module are many. First, a pre-certified communication module enables a simplified development process for the instrument, since it reduces the ISA 100 wireless knowledge required for development and provides the needed interfaces as part of the package. This reduces the time to market because only the sensor or actuator-specific functionality needs to be provided around the wireless module. The pre-certified ISA 100 wireless communication module also streamlines the WCI certification process, because users need only achieve device certification, as the stack has already achieved certification within the certified communication module. 
Once the application processor and source code are complete, the design should be validated by using the chosen ISA 100 wireless communication module to transmit sensor variables via an ISA 100 wireless gateway and then verifying the variables are being reported accurately and correctly. Next, sensor-specific hardware and firmware are developed to integrate the wireless module and application processor with the module firmware. This is where enclosure types, antenna design, and battery access are determined. Software system integration is then added to the design. Software components such as device descriptor, or DD files, and configuration files, or CFs, are designed and integrated with the hardware and firmware to allow end-to-end -end integration testing. The functional prototype is powered up, placed into a typical service area, and tested. Testing includes transmitting variable data via an ISA 100 wireless gateway to the controller of choice, such as a DCS or PLC controller. Once the prototype has been tested and the vendor has proven the performance of the device, it is time to have the device certified by the ISA 100 Wireless Compliance Institute. This is a four-step process. Step 1. The vendor joins the ISA 100 Wireless Compliance Institute, or WCI, as a member. Step 2. The vendor purchases a device test kit, also known as a DTK. Step 3. The vendor uses the DTK to run internal certification tests. Step 4. Once internal certification pretesting is complete and successful, the vendor initiates the WCI certification process in order to obtain the formal WCI compliance certificate. Step 5. WCI hosts periodic interoperability workshops. Product developers are encouraged to participate to validate prototypes and build relationships with experts within the ISA 100 wireless community. WCI compliance does not imply that other required certifications have been met, such as EMC, ESD, RFI, and safety testing. As with any industrial field device, regulatory body testing per the requirements of the local jurisdictions must be done at this point. This includes testing to receive a CE, UL, FM, ATEX, or TUV rating for safety or hazardous location installation as well as testing for conformance for ESD, EMI, and RF immunity. Ready to get started with the design and prototyping of your own ISA 100 wireless instrument, actuator, gateway, or adapter? Good news! The ISA 100 Wireless Compliance Institute offers a one-day hands-on training course to kickstart your effort. The training course includes an introduction to the ISA 100 wireless architecture, terminology, and development concepts. The training package also includes the WCI Rapid Development Kit with two pre-certified wireless modules. As a trainee, you will develop your first functional ISA 100 wireless field instrument prototype using the RDK. I hope you enjoyed this video on ISA 100 wireless device development and certification. To learn more about ISA 100 wireless, head on over to isa100wci.org. We'll add a link to the video description as well.